Note taking is a very important part of both studying and working. The brain is a factory, it's not a warehouse, and it's designed to make magic, not retain reams of information. Now, Hook can help you streamline your note taking practices. If you're reading through a file and you don't want to annotate it because you don't want to have lots of different notes in different places, then invoke Hook. Open the title menu and you can hook to a new note document. You can create a new plain text note with the default plain text editor on your Mac, or you can choose a different application to create a note that your source material will hook to. And here we can see there are lots of applications that are currently compatible. Scrolling down, there are some real favorites here, but I'm gonna select drafts and press enter. And a new note has been created. It's been given a tag, which is hook, and we can see the link to the original PDF file has been filled in as the title. It's in markdown format, which means that when this file has been passed, it will be a clickable link back to the PDF. And you can make your notes freely here, knowing that it's got a link back to the source material whenever you need it. I'm just gonna give it a new title, there. And now when I invoke hook, we can see the direct link back. And if I press enter, the PDF opens. I'm going to open a mind map now that I've created in iThoughts, which is also compatible with Hook. Now I like mind maps, I like the visual representation that they offer of my thoughts, which I'm sure a lot of you watching will do as well. And I can link this back to my original PDF so that I can make notes in here if I wish, rather than in a linear text format. So I'll bring up Hook, then Command C to copy, switch across to the PDF and bring up Hook once more, and Command V to paste in the link to the mind map. And sure enough, if I bring up Hook now, I can see the link to both of those note-taking files, and I can choose which one I want to use. Another real advantage to using Hook with your note-taking is the ability to create a hub file of sorts for all of your resources. Here, we will use this mind map as a central location for all notes that I need to take. And from here, I'm gonna create a hyperlink to this training node here in the mind map and that will map directly back to the original source PDF. I'm gonna select it, invoke hook, and I can see where I'm hooked to the PDF. Now, even though I'm not in that file at the moment, it doesn't even need to be open. I can click on its hook menu and select copy link. And now in iThoughts, as I've selected the training node, I can go to topic, then hyperlink and edit. Or I could press command and K like with most applications. I'll paste in the hook link to the PDF. We can see the very unique syntax that it has, and this is great because it means even if I move this file or rename it in the future, this link is still going to work. If I click on the link, I can access the file. So I can get to it both from the hook window and from the contents of the file itself. And the same, of course, works for web pages. I need to get some insurance quotes for our new puppy. So if I repeat my process, I'll open Safari, just move that across. And there is one site here that I'm going to look at. So I'll invoke hook, command C to copy, and over to iThoughts now. I'll go back to topic, hyperlink, and edit. I'll paste it in. And now I can click on the link to open that particular page. So the ability to link source materials to new and existing materials takes a lot of legwork out of note taking and more importantly, retrieving the information from the notes that you've taken.